Many of you have doodles and many of you would like to see them trimmed and a little bit more of a puppy cut. So that's that's what a lot of people refer to leaving length. Today I'm going to be leaving some length on Daisy. We're going to be using snap-on combs to set her length. And I'm going to go through the full trim with you on how to trim a beautiful, large, golden doodle holiday trim. So the first thing that we have to do with any dog, especially our doodles, is thoroughly brush them out before we bathe them and before we trim them. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, guys, today of how to prepare your golden doodle before trimming and how to get your golden doodle ready for the trim and how to put the trim on your dog. Let's get started. We're going to do a full brush out on Daisy and then we're going to get her in the tub. I'm using a Kenti slicker brush to pre-brush Daisy before we get her in the tub. This is a wonderful slicker brush. This is their large size. As you can see, it easily removes the dead coat from Daisy. This isn't shedding hair. I mean, all dogs technically shed. They lose hair. This is just hair that's dead and needs to come out. So that's why we're pre-brushing her. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to put a nice trim on her. Our clipper would get hung up in the coat. So it's very important to pre-brush. It's very important to clean your dog's face. I'm going to be using some Tropiclean Facial Scrub, which is a pet safe product to use around the eyes and nose and mouth of your dog. Dogs can collect a lot of debris here in their little beards and their muzzle around the eyes. And this safe product will not irritate the eyes, but it will also get them good and clean. And it's very important to get their mouth clean, guys, just like this. Don't be afraid to wash your dog's face. If you don't, you won't be able to properly trim it, and it's very important to get the face clean, guys. I have Daisy all soaked up now from head to toe. It's important that you let your shampoo sit on your dog for about four or five minutes just to release the dirt and grime from the coat. We're gonna condition her next. I condition every dog because it helps to keep them brushed out longer. It helps me to brush them out after the bath. And it also helps to, you know, just balance out the skin and coat a little bit. So we're going to be adding that conditioner in here in a second. Now it's time to apply our conditioner. I have pre-mixed this. Remember, all of our conditioners and shampoos are dilutable. And the way you check that is on the bottle. This particular one is dilutable. 16 parts water, one part conditioner. I use these mixing bottles and I have pre-mixed it and I'm going to apply it to Daisy now. The mixing bottles make it very easy to apply conditioner and shampoo product onto your dog. I will link everything that I'm using today guys in the description below if it is something that you think would help you and your pet at home. That includes these mixing bottles. They are really nice to have. I always clean the ears after the bath because there might be a slightest chance that some water got down in her ears during the bath. So the ear cleaning solution that I'm using is a Bark to Basics product. I'll link it below. And we're just saturating the cotton ball and squeeze that solution down in there so that when she shakes, she's releasing any water or fluid that got down in there and kind of cleansing it. I'm only wiping out as far in as I can see. I use absorber towels to dry my dogs. These are a pet product that is actually a pretty nice little secret that most pet professionals use. These absorber towels pull so much water out of your dog's coat that it really cuts down on your drying process and the amount of time that you spend drying your dog and the amount of time your dog has to tolerate the drying process. If you're just grooming at home, you only need one. You wring it out as you're working with it and continue on drying your dog. Mm -hmm. 
after Daisy has tiled off and had her nails trimmed and her ears cleaned and her bath, we're gonna brush through this entire dog one more time while she's still wet before we dry her. This is going to ensure that we are removing any dead hair that wants to come out and it's gonna collect in your brush. That's what you wanna see because this is going to perfectly prepare your dog's coat for trimming and scissoring. So every inch of your dog gets thoroughly brushed before you dry them while they're still wet. The hair is very pliable when it's wet, so it's you know a lot less likely to damage your dog's coat, obviously. And secondly, it just simply brushes out so easily after it's cleaned and washed. dried your dog and if you don't have means to dry your dog let them completely air dry after you've toweled them off thoroughly after they are dry you must come back and brush through your entire dog one more time before we can begin trimming and this is why we're still getting dead hair in the brush and this is what is going to cause your clipper to snag and not to go through your dog's coat when you're trying to give them a haircut. If you cannot get a comb through your dog like this, a metal grooming comb, then continue brushing. Do not attempt to trim your dog until you can get a comb through your entire dog like this. And you can't just use the comb, you have to brush first because that's what's gonna pull the dead coat out. After you can get a comb through your dog, you're ready for trimming. I'm using a Wall KM10 Professional Clipper, number 10 detachable blade. I am going to use a number one wall snap-on comb. These are the stainless steel snap-on combs. They're amazing. You simply seat it on the back, push forward, and it hooks right onto your 10 blade. We are going to start at the base of the skull here and start trimming Daisy. I'm using a Hanvey hair vac system. I will link that in the description because a lot of people have been asking me about it. And here we go. Tilt your dog's neck down so you can get a nice smooth cut all the way down the back. Good Daisy. Starting at the base of the skull, taking everything off. Hold your dog's ear up, come right up under the ear, under the jaw, and continue to remove all that hair with your number one snap on comb. Hold this ear forward, come on around the base of the skull, all around behind the ear to under the jaw. Nice even strokes. Put a little bit of pressure to move the coat in front of the blade and your clipper work will look just fine. Take your time, they have a lot of loose skin here, so don't be, don't be quick, don't be aggressive. Take your time. And do a nice, safe pet trim on your dog. I stop about two inches down the tail, just to clean all this up for when she goes to the bathroom, and continue right down her backside with this number one snap-on comb. You're gonna take the legs, the body, everything with this size. Hold that leg out, come right down the arm, the shoulder, right into the leg. Come on down your dog's leg. We're just taking everything off with this number one snap-on comb. Good job, Daisy.
stretch this leg out like this. Otherwise, you won't be able to get in here. Just like this. I got my arm around her, kind of helping her out here a little bit. We work together here, right, Daisy? Now I'm gonna switch over to a zero snap-on comb, still over my 10 blade. We're gonna set the length on her head and her muzzle. So you're gonna tilt your doodle's nose down, and you're gonna start right at the base of the skull where we started our original clipping, and now we're coming forward towards the muzzle. Just like so. So above the ear, don't come any more, any closer, any further than right above the ear. Flip that ear back. Now I've removed my snap-on comb. We're going to do the sanitary trim on Daisy, which is around her anus and her privates. We're going to go away from the anus in all four directions, just like this. I like to come up the tail a little just to clean that up. And that cleans up the anus area so that stays nice and clean. I'm gonna hold Daisy's tail and I'm gonna lift her leg up. And we're just gonna come straight across the vulva area towards the vulva very gently, only with a 10 blade, ever. I like to clean this all up real nice on a pet just so they stay nice and clean. We're gonna scissor this and tidy this up in a little bit. This is all called the sanitary area because this keeps your dog clean where they go to the bathroom and keeps your house clean and your carpets and your lap. Still with a 10 blade, we're gonna clean out the pads of the feet so we have a nice clean foot. So I like to come all the way around the outer edge of the bottom of the foot, so everything the dog would be standing on, that's all, okay? We're gonna come at this pad in a V shape only, just like this. It's okay, Daze. Just to, so they don't get tangles and mats and it keeps their feet cleaner. And this is part of the sanitary trim because if they collect dirt and debris and mud in their feet, that's not very sanitary. So this is still part of the sanitary trim. And the very last thing we're going to do with our 10 blade and with any blade is I'm just going to clean off her earlobe very carefully. You see she has a lot of hair here. I just like to vent this, meaning take this off and keep it cleaner so she gets good airflow to her ears. That helps to prevent ear problems. So gently come towards her nose just on the earlobe only. And I'm just going to clean up right under here. So that we've vented her ear nicely. Now we're gonna just tidy up right here in front of her eyes, right in the corner where dogs like to get a lot of buildup. I like to use a thinning shear. You could take a little scoop here with your 10 blade to clean this out if you don't have a thinning shear or you don't feel comfortable using a thinning shear. Moving forward towards the muzzle, just right, just right in front of her eye there, where they collect all that buildup. Good job, honey. Always use your comb to pull up the hair and pull it out, so you can see what you need to scissor off. If you're not comfortable using thinning shears, then don't. It's okay. Just use your 10 blade to scoop this out. The rest, you can just let it go. I like to kind of trim an inverted V so this lays back nicely for your dog, stays out of their eyes as it grows out a little bit. Now we're gonna tip her head down a little and I'm just gonna comb everything up above her ears and we're just gonna tidy up that area. This is a nine and a half inch entree curved shear. We're just gonna tidy up. 
right above that ear. We're gonna pull this ear back. Just gonna tidy up anything that was sticking out here, anything that's uneven. And we're just going to tidy up this shape um, from her cheek to her muzzle. Just, just make it look nice. We're kind of going in a round shape. And the same thing over here on this side. I'm gonna pull that ear back and hold the ear hair out of the way. And we're just gonna tidy up anything that is interrupting our shape. Use your comb to pull the hair up. Look at that. See that, all that just popped out? Make sure, doodles have loose skin. So make sure you got hair, not skin. In front of the muzzle here, hold her mouth shut, and we're just tidying up right in front of the muzzle. In front of the eyes, from corner of the eye to corner of the eye, we're just going to tidy all that up. To trim Daisy's ears, we're gonna comb them both down. We want Daisy looking straight. I'm gonna come straight across here to set the length that I like. She has to be looking straight, not up, not down. Straight. Comb this ear down, comb that ear down. And the length that I made this ear, I'm gonna come straight over, put a notch in this ear so I know that they're going to match. Hold Daisy's nose straight. And I'm going to connect the back of the ear to that little notch I put in the front of her ear. Always be aware of where your dog's ear leather is, so give it a feel. Hers is right here. You get nice, even, trimmed ears. Now to trim Daisy's foot, I'm gonna comb everything down and I'm gonna trim all the way around her pad of her foot. You don't wanna ever put your scissors this way. You could trim this pad, you could nick it. Your scissors are sharp, guys. So we're gonna go 360 degrees around the pad of Daisy's foot. Good job, girl. And putting that foot down, we're gonna comb everything up on top of it and we're just going to even it up with the length that we set on our snap-on comb, basically, that's it. And like a kind of a dome shape on the top of her foot. up on the top of the foot. It's okay, girl. We're going to dome that in. Just making it even with what we trimmed with our snap-on comb. Notice a lot of times I'm only using the tip of my shears, guys. Hold that foot up. Comb everything up. There's a little knuckle back here, guys, right here. So we just want to even things up right here. We want to be careful around that knuckle. Good day. Daisy's all done. She's beautiful. You should easily be able to comb your dog. All those little hair fragments out. 
look at this gorgeous gal. Beautiful fluffy tail. Beautiful mats. Just absolutely gorgeous.